Okay, let's try problem 13.4.60. We got a little slow uptake with uh, Pearson today. Everybody's noticing it. Okay, 13.4. <laughs> Boy, this is real slow. Mm -hmm. It's affecting this computer now, too. There you go. 13, you said 13.4.6T. Okay, there it is. So this is independent samples. So we're going to be using either the Man Whitney in StatCrunch or the Wilcoxon independent random sample in StatDisk. I'm going to go with StatDisk because I know it works better. Boy, this is slow. Ay, caramba. All right, so. So I got those ones. I got, there is no difference in earnings, and then there is a difference in earnings. Right, that's typically, there's very a, a very little diff difference. Unless you I'll do one tail. This one says no difference. Isn't that what it says? Yeah, there is no difference. It's the belief that there is no, there is a difference. So the, the claim is there is a difference. That goes in the alternative. Yes. Oh, so the first one is there is no difference. Oh, I, I difference. see. Yeah, it should be there is a. There you go. I picked the wrong one there inadvertently. And then plus or minus 1.96. Yeah, but one nine plus or minus. That's that's a, that's a classical. Uh, number set of numbers you, you just kind of memorize them when you do enough statistical analysis and this one's on trouble all right so what i do is i open it in clipboard and then just re-highlight just the numbers control c mm -hmm. i'm going to make sure i got 50 and 33 at the top and then i go to uh, stat disk now all i got to do is clear what's in there and then highlight the first row and oop. Okay, and then control V. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yeah, it looks right. I said fifty and thirty-three, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so that's done. So back to stat this. So now I go to analysis, Will Coxon independent. By the way, the reason I know it's independent is because there's different sample size. Yeah. You, can't, you can't have matched pairs if you have different sample size, so it has to be independent. So one and two, uh, I think, it, yeah, 5%. So 2.8871. Back to the problem. They want two decimal places, so 2.89. But the only problem would be is if it's a negative 2.89. So I go back and change it to a negative. Okay. For some reason, sample one and sample two are interpreted different. I'm not sure why. Because that, that sometimes that's what happens. If I'm we not, put that on the test, are you, are you gonna give us at least partial credit? If we end up putting positive, but it's negative. I, mean, I think the t test will let you do it a second time, won't it? It no. won't tell us if we get it wrong. Tell, yeah. oh. tell us, it just lets us put the answer in, and it won't say give us any feedback. Okay, so the te the test statistic is not between the it's less it's not between them, so we reject the no hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to reject to support the claim. The claim's in the alternative, so there is sufficient evidence. Yeah, it was a negative. 13.511. All right, let me stop this one. This this was 13.4.6T, wasn't it? Mm 